Hello, this is Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure some stuff. Um, we usually use uh, calipers to measure in the Steam Lab when we are trying to measure things. These are calipers, and I'm going to post some videos about how to use these and a virtual caliper that you can use to learn how to read the vernier scale here, which is a good skill to use and one that I normally teach. But you don't have these, um, and you don't have the things that you need to measure at home. Normally what I have people do in class is I have a whole wall of examples that other students have printed out and you can go measure examples and see which one you like and measure that one and maybe there's two, one that's a little bigger than you want, one a little smaller than what you want and then you just pick a number in between. We're going to measure in millimeters because whether you're using SolidWorks or you're using SketchUp, you should be working in millimeters because our 3D printer speaks millimeters. If I send something that is six inches long in my 3D printer, a six inch tall figurine, and I, I send that in inches, actually all the 3D printer sees is the number six. And since it speaks millimeters, it assumes you're six inches. What you mean is six millimeters. So you get something this big. So that's not what you want. So instead of measuring the bracelets that I have on the wall, I'm figuring out which bracelet fits you and then measuring it. We're going to have to compare your wrist at home. So I usually don't have students directly measure their wrist because your wrist is actually not a circle. Um, so they either usually measure the thin part or the thick part of their wrist. And they, no matter what they measure, they come up with something wrong. Keep in mind that your hand is going to have to go through the bracelet. So it's really this wide part of your hand that you might want to measure. You might have some measuring tools at home. Like uh, you might have, if you have somebody who does sewing, you might have something like this there. And you could measure the wide part of your hand, but the bracelets are designed to stretch a little bit. So if you make a bracelet this big, you might end up with something bigger than what you want. Um, you can also, even if, even if you don't have that and you only have a ruler, what you can do is you can use a string or something like that. Or um, I have a piece of wire here and you can bend the wire and try that out as a bracelet, figure out what size you want it to be. Uh, a ruler might actually be better because if I'm using a tape measure like this, I'm actually measuring the circumference and what I want is the diameter. But then what you'll actually find when you actually go into CAD is you want the radius, which is half the diameter. So there's a lot of measuring issues that you have to deal with. But I wanted to just demonstrate for you how to use some calipers. And I have some household items here that I'm going to measure so that if you don't have anything to measure, you can use my measurements and you can compare how big your hand and wrist are to some household items because the other thing that usually happens is we usually make a whole bunch of bracelets and one of those bracelets is the right size maybe the fifth or sixth bracelet you make because maybe you make one too big and you make it smaller and you make it bigger and smaller until you get it to be the right size since we're doing this at a distance you got kind of one shot at me 3d printing this maybe so I might be able to tell you if, it, if I think it's too big, but I don't have your hand there either. So this is just a standard can, like a soda can, and I'm going to use the calipers. And I'm going to open them up. When you're measuring a cylinder, you have to be careful that you're going all the way across. Um, when you're measuring any circle, you want to make sure that you're measuring the widest part of the circle. So you're actually better off doing something like this, although my caliper jaws are a little bit small for this. So what I can do is just close it a little bit and see if, if the can fits through. If it doesn't fit through, I've got to make it a little bit bigger until can just barely fits through and that'll be the diameter the diameter goes through the center of your circle but it's also the longest so if you're measuring with a ruler you can just keep adjusting until you get the longest measurement you can get across the circle and then you know it's the diameter so i'm gonna look here so diameter of a soda can is about 66 millimeters then i have a tin can these are not all the same but you can kind of see how big this tin can is. This is a chili can and it is a little bit bigger than, than the soda can. It's, it's coming in at, let's see, 75 millimeters. Okay. Then I have one of these plastic cups that uh, are very popular with children's. And there's two sides on this. There's the narrow end on the bottom, which is 68 millimeters. And then there's the big end on the top. Now, you can also measure using these other parts of the calipers. You can measure the inside part. On your bracelet, it kind of doesn't matter because your bracelet's going to be thin like the cup. Yes, there's a difference in the measurement, but it's only a millimeter or two. So the inside measurement here is 88 millimeters. So if you can easily fit your hand in that cup, 
you know that that's going to be maybe too big for your bracelet. If you if it's hard, maybe not. Here's some uh, blue tape. If you have masking tape, these are standard on the inside. So um, the outside diameter of this is going to matter how much tape you've used or how much tape is on the spool. But the inside diameter, these are meant to go in dispensers. So they're pretty standard. So there's the measurement of the inside diameter. And that one is 77 millimeters. I have a 28 ounce jar of peanut butter. Again, these are not standard because they come in different sizes, but I gave you the ounces. So maybe that helps. This is 85 millimeters on the top. And am I out of all my round things? I think I'm out of all my round things. So hopefully some of those measurements will help you decide how big to make your bracelet. Give it a shot. Uh, make sure that you're setting your, your, I measured all diameters. So make sure you're using an actual, a radius. So if you use any of the sizes that I just use right now as your radius, your bracelet's going to definitely be too big. So make sure you're thinking about it right. All right. So use the SolidWorks video if you're using SolidWorks or the SketchUp video if you're using SketchUp and go ahead and extrude yourself a bracelet.